Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept two time shown in two different clock in 24 hour format as input and also accept so here the two time shown in two different clock is C1 and C2 and also the program must accept the time t as the input and finally the program must print the time in C2 when the time in C1 is T. So we have to accept the two times shown in two different clock in 24 hour format as the input that is C1 and C2. Then after that we have also get the time T as the input. Then we must print the time in C2 when time in C1 is T. So we'll take our first test case. Here C1 is this, then we'll have C2, then it is T. That is C3 or T. T is fine. So now when C1 becomes T, that is when C1 becomes 1245, we have to print C2. So for that, our key logic is, first we should find the time difference between C1 and C2 and print the summation of time difference and t. Now the time difference between the c1 and c2 is 1 hour 30 minutes now when c1 becomes t that is c1 becomes 1245 our C2 will be 14, 15. Now we'll take our second test case. So here we have the T to be 930. So when C1 becomes 930, our C2 will be 233, which will be our output. So First we have to accept the two times shown in two different clock in 24 hour format and also the time t. So we have to print the time t in C2 when the time in C1 is t. First we have to find the time difference between C1 and C2 and print the summation of time difference and t. Let us implement our program. First we will get the input C1 in hours and minutes. input of dot split of then we'll get c2 c2 minutes map same then we'll get the time t hours comma minutes then after that we have to find the time difference between C1 and C2. 
so for that we'll convert c2 into minutes and c1 also into minutes so the time difference is equal to first we'll convert c2 into minutes c2 hour into 60 plus c2 minutes minus c1 hour into 60 plus c1 minutes so now we have found the time difference after finding the time difference we have to add it to the time t so the resultant time is equal to the hour into 60 plus minute that, that is will convert into minutes and then we'll add to the time difference then finally we have to print the resultant time so first we we'll have percentage 2d percentage 2d so for example if we have 245 means we have to pass zeros at the front right so for that we use this 2d then percentage the resultant time so first we have to get the resultant time in hour so for that double slash 60 percentage 24 so whenever the hour get exceeds 24 it must again start from the first then after that we'll have the resultant time minutes so first we'll execute our test case so here we have got the correct output now we'll pass our second test case so here also we have got the correct output of the program our program has passed all our given test cases successfully Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.